All right, what's going on, everybody? Switched back over and got the uh, the other microphone on the uh, the GoPro. So I noticed last week's video, and inside the freeze dryer, it doesn't sound as loud as actual the actual mic on the um, the media mod picked up, but it was still annoying. Anyways, um, we picked up a few plants this morning. Let's play with the light here just a little bit. It does help a little bit. Um, I got three tomatoes and three peppers. I guess I thought it was three and three. Yeah. So one of these is, I think it's an early boy tomato. Once I get around to doing the next part of the video, I'll take a look. Um, there's a Juliet grape and a husky cherry. The husky cherry seems to grow pretty well. Um, no orange tomatoes or anything like that this year. Um, I was real lazy and didn't get my plants started so you have to go and uh, buy your own or buy them uh, pre-done. So I got a red snack or lunch box. Um, I got a Serrano and a um, I think the other one was a banana pepper. No, sweet cherry. Thought I picked up a banana pepper. Maybe I must have put it down and swapped it back for the sweet cherry and said, why not? Yep, that's what I did. Anyway, so that's what's going on um, from the inside perspective. Trying to get myself situated. I'm trying to get some inside stuff done first before I come and do outside stuff. Um, having to get back into the habit of uh, watering plants every day, every other day, because um, it's been a minute. Um, nothing really special, although I did notice. So these are all. Now, well, obviously, the weed is not, but. These are the cuttings that I took from one of my co-workers, Meyer Lemons, that is about a 70-year-old plant, or tree. And looks like all but maybe one of these, I'm not sure about that one, has some blossoms, so they're actually growing, so they need to get transplanted out of there. Um, this is an abused cutting from my bigger lemon trees um, and I didn't do much with. This needs to get transplanted. So obviously has some weeds in here and it's actually getting way bigger than the little pot but I never really did much with it and just kind of let it hang out. Um, and one of my fig cuttings. It was really droopy yesterday. I hadn't watered things in a minute. Um, so the multiplying onions, some of them are growing, some aren't. They need to be transplanted. I'm debating how many I want to keep. And then I got to go in and clean all the buckets because they're just overgrown with weeds. Um, all of these are the Serenity AGs. I was just actually reading on the website and these all, they look like they go to seed, but they won't actually seed, so these need to be cut down again. Um, the potato onions, I'm not sure what to do with those, so I'm going to give them a haircut. Um, some of these actually look like they got a little bit of size on them, so I'm curious to see what this one plant turned into. I'm guessing five, so... This will be one of the experiments, so I need to go in there, dig these up, and see what it looks like. Um, I need to get in and clean out all the, the dead plant matter that's in the, uh, the strawberries. And the didn't do nothing with onions that kind of carried over. They need a haircut. Um, they are not ready to harvest. I might as well do the full walk around and then just do an update. So all of this is just 
garbage that needs to be weeded through. So um, I'm guessing this is next week or the week after. Um, I want to get these other plants in and uh, go from there. See, there's no real size. I mean, they're pretty big around, but there's no real onion going on down there unless it's way deep. So, um, like I said, all of these totes, I need to get cleaned up because I need to do some direct seeding. These two big blue totes or half barrels are what I typically use for, uh, for green beans. So, they obviously, those are not green beans. And these are all the potatoes, so nothing really poking through yet. Some of that, that's actually just from watering, so. Um, there were a couple of those that were actually pretty good size, um, and I didn't break them off, so I expect them to be poking through any time. Um, I've got to get out here with the weed eater. My weed eaters, we'll call it underpowered for what it is so it doesn't really get through some of this stuff like the real heavy weird grass that grows um, in front of the cinder blocks there so I'm debating whether I want to buy one or just struggle through um, backyard is starting to dry up so I can actually walk through here um, I need to get back there and run the mower but check out this blueberry and I was reading, so blueberries like acidic soil, it says add like half a cup of vinegar to the soil. I didn't do that, but I kind of need to. But I've got to figure out a way to cover these because the birds are going to start tearing it up. Um, tons of blueberries, but the birds will be after it if I don't find a, a way to uh, get it netted and uh, prevent them from coming in. This never made it. I think it bloomed the one year and nothing since. So this is dead. Um, that needs to get in a new bucket. That bucket's starting to deteriorate and fall apart. Those are overripe. I need to pick the rest of them and toss them. You can see all the blossoms though. So that's really cool to see the lemon tree just blossoming. Um, this Granny Smith is starting to blossom. And this one is starting to do a little blossoming. So I probably need to get in, trim a couple of the smaller branches. Um, pick the rest of the lemons on this one. I got all the limes that were overripe. Um, and that one's starting to blossom. This one is a little bit behind, but it's starting to blossom as well. So, uh, anyways, I need to get the overripe fruit that I didn't pick because it was rainy and nasty and just get it taken care of. Um, Big Fig has a bunch of weeds in there, so that needs to get cleaned out um, before it starts choking it out. Um, small Fig, no weeds. Maybe one starting to grow down there. This tote's garbage. And it's probably going to start cracking just like this. It's, basically, it's, a, it's a different tote than these Walmart ones. But these Walmart blue ones, that's a goner. That's a goner. That one's probably will crack. I didn't test it out yet. Now, actually, this one is the same as that one. But... Actually, no. This is more rubber than plastic. Um, that's a blue Walmart tote. This needs to get transplanted into one of these. And that needs to get transplanted into one of these. Um, I'd like to get... Yeah, see, this blueberry is in one of these which is going to crack. The blueberry needs to be transplanted. 
and that blueberry needs to get transplanted that's a black tote that's uh, I think a year older or a year newer this also has a couple weeds growing in there and these are a little bigger than last year not much bigger but I need a way to uh, get this one all bundled up so the birds can't get to it um, fruiting mulberry that's never fruited and I need to get some fertilizer into the raspberries and then clean up the trees the trees are starting to grow in more than they should and then I'm guessing this other tree on these crappy dogwood things I think um, maybe that one's dying out so anyways got lots to do and not gonna get it all done in one day but um, that's pretty much it for this week um, I need to get those six plants into buckets I've got to look for buckets see what buckets are left um, I've got a couple black buckets and then I've got that looks like all black one blue actually there's two blue ones here as well um, so yeah, I've got plenty of buckets to cover the plants that I've got. Um, there's a couple of those potato buckets that actually cracked when I was uh, trying to empty them and rehab them. Uh, so they're kind of goners. Oh, Sam's Club has, they call them, I think they call it transparent or translucent. They had white-ish buckets. They were mostly white, lightly clear. Um, they're 3 dollars at Sam's all day long, so I was debating whether to pick some up because the Walmart ones, which are these, well, actually, almost all these are Walmart buckets. Uh, pretty much you can only find them in white right now. They're like four and a quarter or more. So um, Sam's Club's ones are cheaper, so probably need to pick up a, a few more buckets because uh, these Lowe's ones, I need to get cleaned out and redone get the uh, uh, the hydroponics back in there I need to get the hydroponic tower out here as well so um, just time energy motivation and uh, that's pretty much it so outside of uh, doing some updates that's gonna be it for this week if there if I get to the updates and tag it on I will throw it on the end of the video thanks for watching all right, skating in at the last minute with a quick update so I can splice everything and try to meet my four o'clock schedule that I self-impose on myself every week. Um, so I got the, the six plants in. I have to make tags for these, so Husky Cherry Red, Juliet Grape, Serrano, let's see where is the cup, it's over here on the side after I watered it, so this is basically your lunchbox pepper, and that would make this one the sweet cherry, then I got a package of horseradish, had three roots, so got that done. Give all the onions a haircut. I didn't do these. These had already been cut a little bit before, but cut them all down. Give them all a good haircut. Got all the onions in the back. Cut them down. This tomato, I put in the bigger. This is a bigger tomato. This one, which I've never heard of before, is they call it the 4th of July. Slicer tomato. It says four ounce fruit and said 49 days to harvest. So that's why I picked this one out of any of the other ones. It's a larger tomato, it's supposed to be 49 days. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, cleaned up the hanging fruit, 
pulled a couple weeds and that's taken me a couple hours to get uh, everything planted and uh, whatnot. I still have to do some weed eating around all the cinder blocks before I throw the buckets out there. So, um, anyways, that'll wrap it up. You heard that twice now, but uh, uh, maybe I go cut the other one out. We'll see how it blended in. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you next week.